But we are back in F1 Road to Glory. We get to do what we want now. I'm not changing it. So we're not... It's gonna be more unedited stuff because... I don't really like editing this stuff. But we have actually... We've now got the McLaren stuff so I had to redo it. I don't know what upgrades they've done. Oh my. McLaren. McLaren. They've done nothing in their. We're getting. We're getting. We're getting up. Hmm. So McLaren have done nothing in their power tree. They focused, they focused on aero and... Our new parts have completed without issue. They'll be on the car ready for the next race weekend. <laughs> hmm. I want to be Max or Perez's rival for this... For pretty much the remainder of the season. Go with Mr. Inconsistent. You handled that well. Thank you. No, this is more open, so. Okay, we've had the new parts come through the fabrication process. Speak to it. Speak we'll to your heart's content. The next Grand Prix. <laughs> <coughs> oh, actually, hopefully, get back to you. Under Trey's game in. Oh. Oh, wow. Hmm. So the worst thing we're at is power. Okay. Who did I actually replace? That's... Oh, we replaced Oscar. Oscar. No, Oscar's been booted out fully. No. Uh, it doesn't matter. I was ahead of him in the championship. But who comes in then? Who is the other Alpha Romeo? I guess we just find out. Our new parts have completed without issue. They'll be on the car ready for the next race weekend. Of course, has to be a major. <laughs> so yeah, loading screens might be the only thing I edit out and stuff I don't want. Maybe the practice session because they're annoying as fuck to do. Hey, welcome to the team. Good to finally meet you. I'm Max. I'm the head of R&D here. I've been following your career closely, and I have to say I'm a huge fan. I think we're going to get on great. Uh, this is your machine. From here, you can track your performance, look into R&D upgrades, and much more. Let me know if you run into any problems. So it's a new life in a new team. <coughs> we are in McLaren. We move. Piastri is out. Lawson goes to Alfa Romeo. She kind of spicy. Mercedes made progress. So yeah, we're now in the top five. So we'll be hopefully getting points every race. Oh, I cannot put those two on. So okay, sweet. That's all we need to know. But um. Everything's kind of dull here, but I will uh, just go to qualifying. I've already... Fresh. 
Energy storage, halfway through. That can do one more <laughs> race. Yeah. Make sure everything is fitted. 15, 15, yep. So we have 2,000 R&D points, which is lovely. Engine power, for, yeah, Singapore now, yeah, engine power would be really good. And I cannot do, <laughs> what could to do with durability, I need to get engined up. But yeah, that's really all we can do now we actually head into qualifying. I can only do that because I uh, need to, otherwise I cannot have a thing like that. So it is qualifying time! I really hope... Yes, okay, everything everything will be on the car. We are good. Um, let me just transform this down a bit. So, there. First qualifying in a McLaren. So obviously, Liam Lawson's first ever qualifying session. It's kind of fitting how this is worked in with real life F1. Uh, Liam Lawson takes his first qualifying session at Netherlands. <laughs> Did I do something? Have I broken this game? Oh, we're just gonna head out. Short qualifying. Give this a crack. First lap of anger in this McLaren. Hogenberg's at the 10 7. I'm assuming this Red Bull behind me is on a fast lap. No, but Leclerc was. And this is second quicker than the half. And also goes even quicker. I'm expecting Aston to be up here as well. My real question is, how the heck were we so quick in the Alpha Romero? How does it... A 109? Deep because I was distracted. <laughs> Say, <Sam. laughs> oh, <laughs> damn it. One ten for Hamilton, and we're third. Ah, we'll just do two laps. We'll do what we normally do. First stop, first stop is barely ahead. We are in. We yeah, Lando's Lando's a couple times behind. <laughs> just to reiterate, this is one hundred and three AI because I don't know how quick the AI are around. <laughs> I don't know about most tracks. Apparently, I'm four tenths off after one lap. Also goes ahead again. Well, no. I'm gonna head out now. I don't know if everyone else is up. <laughs> we could be the first. We could be the last. I don't know why it shows me all of this, I don't need to know.
We are the last. Probably should have. Oh. So we have to be. We have to game four times in this one. Give this a go. You're three times up. You're four. You're five. Just five times up. <laughs> Is this a cool position up? Purple final sector. Okay, good job, mate. Really, really well done. That was a fantastic drive. It's Bring it home. On my McLaren debut. <laughs> so I was the only one to improve. Qualifying complete. Let's review our top we three today. Barry Freeman, Daddy. Sainz, and George Russell. We would have been ahead of Paris regardless. We have our grid line up for the big race tomorrow. Be sure to join us then for what will no doubt be a fantastic race. I mean, we're six temps between the top nine, and then Stroll is God knows where. Where is Stroll? <coughs> I was Stroll there. So, yeah. We got pole position barely, but we beat out Carlos Sainz. We, it is race day. At the nether, at the Dodge GP. You know. We're sitting on pole, we're quite comfortably. <laughs> what is it quite comfortably? I mean, less than a tenth. As you can see, I shouldn't really be running for the grid. But we've shown our strategy. Let's just get into this race and look at the formation. That's a beautiful. Oh, it just feels so then. nice to be in that McLaren. <laughs> so my teammates, Saints, are on soft, so is Magnussen and Lawson's. What ass, my ex teammate is the only one on hats. But to me, yeah, nothing changed. I think Albon was probably the only one that did. I don't think Albon was 20. But uh, the no one near us changed. Oh, I forgot. I need to change my helmet. And they'll be hoping to finish today's race on the podium. Failing that within the points. Yeah. So, no, another thing. We've been developing a helmet. You'll see what the helmet looks like next episode. Because you'll see the creation of it. But the less about that, we are lined up on the grid now. Where we go. I'm expecting science to get the jump on us here. In this Dutch GP first stint. I don't know how long. Hold on. Hold on. Science hasn't got us. We stayed ahead of Carlos Sainz. Hamilton for Stappen Perez. Oh, say, saying that, my teammate has just got past for, uh, Perez. My rival, which is good. This is probably going to be a quiet one. <laughs> I'm just going to be speaking whenever we get 
Carlos Sainz is going to send it. He's going to say no. I need Hamilton or Verstappen, or even my teammate, to put pressure on Sainz here. I don't know how long I'm going to keep a soft tire runner behind me. We've done it for a lap. We've led the first lap of our McLaren. Of our story in McLaren. And I might have left. Science, uh, no room. Come on, you can win that place back. And I've been hit by. And I've been hit by a Merc in the rear and almost lost it. I take full responsibility and may have given Science absolutely no room. And we got damage. Hmm. Yep. Science is too slow for that section. We have more speed than him. Let's hope this doesn't compromise because I might not change my front wing. If we feel okay through this, this will be the next. This will be a crucial next couple of laps. When you're within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. This is going to be the next crucial point here. Does it feel good? If it doesn't feel good in these next couple of laps, I'm boxing for hearts. Oh, it already doesn't feel great. Oh, gosh. I'm going to be brave. I'm going to pit lap four. I'm going to box next to lap. This front wing is going to cause me havoc here. Set it to new hard tires. Yep. I've set it here first. We are boxing next lap for a front wing change. As that little tag behind signs is just. <laughs> okay, we're and I'm... monitoring somewhere on the internal combustion engine. Be aware that we're going to start to see a loss of power. Understood. Stopping this lap. Who else are I'm slow? But we are going to box this lap for hards. I just don't want to risk too much with this broken front wing. I mean, I'm holding them up. Essentially, I'm trying to do a job for Lando here. Essentially, this is what my job is for this lap. Hold them up, force them into mistakes. Yeah, this is my lap. I cannot do this. I just don't have the grip in the corners with that front wing. Kind of came out there, kind of sad. We are going to be in last place. It is. It is what it is. Okay, off we go. Back into the race. Perfect job on the turn in there, mate. Looks like a nice stop time. We're happy with that one. Look after these tyres now. We want to finish the race on this compound. Cold hards. Twenty seconds behind. Let's see how much we can close up in the next couple laps. Because this is going to be crucial. We're going to need to close up a lot. I'm quick. I'm 
the tires warmed up quite quickly. It's the benefit of being in the McLaren. My teammate is third, that is good news. Come on, Lando. We're currently trailing our teammate by 23.7 seconds. That gap might be crucial. I'm gonna need to keep asking on that gap. Two percent each left, these tires will make it to the end for sure. Gaps of the car ahead is 17.3 seconds. Lando with the fastest lap. These here, there might not be many laps shown of this because I kind of am going to focus. We set the fastest lap. There were a couple tenths faster than Lando that lap. We were faster than the guys ahead. By a lot, it seems. And look at it. Game three seconds and two laps. On Sergeant. This is good. Ferraris are squabbling. Seven percent after four after three laps. Oh no, 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 come on! That goes five temps. Oh, the soft boys. They're all going for hearts. Sergeants in the pits. Are they going for softs this early? Our gap to the car in front is 12.9 seconds. But we are nowhere near for Sabin. We're nowhere near the race leader. These tires are going to reach the same as mine, might can push for longer. coming in for his stop now. Oh, 
right from his net P4. Look at the train back there. Oh my god. Four seconds behind Hamilton. Verstappen's on softs. I've used so much ass, man. Look at that straight line speed. Lack of power, this is seriously hurting us now. This is annoying. We're gonna have to try a move on Perez, I think. I have to try something. P4 is the max I'm getting out of this right now. Safety car comes. Uh, I think I must. I'll be in the mud. The IC. The IC is now hurting. The IC is dead. Green flag. There are yellow flags behind. Who is retiring? It is an Alpine. But which one? I've got no ERS. That's the Ocon. Virtual or something would be perfect. Oh, we're done with Russell is just absolutely marvelous. Well, no, look at it. It's a joke. Look at this straight line speed. I have to use ERS to stay with it. Yellow flag. We've just made a crucial mistake. I put this in fire range to Claire. Rain is forecast in just over 10 minutes time. Rain in, Rain 10, in minutes. 10 minutes. Won't even make a difference. We'll be done.
Yeah, this is gonna be the worst five laps for us. We thought the engine would be okay, we got news that it wasn't, and we kind of screwed ourselves. Having to box early has definitely hurt us even more. The thing I was able, I would be able to hold off for stopping. DRS. Let's just try and move here. <sighs> Gives us one lap of breathing space. Gives us one straight of breathing space. So I said I probably would have rather if it was a safety car. Then we'd be bunched up. This how big this gap is, is because of the Ferrari of Carlos Sainz. And then my engine, me having to heavily defend, isn't the ideal thing. My ICE is gone, but my CE, Control Electronics, is making it wear faster. Might as well just do these massive sends. I want them to fight. We're trying to defend sixth place here. The more these guys fight, the more chance I have of staying alive in P6. At this rate, it is eight points more than Carlos Sainz is going to get. Championship will be hard this season, but. Get used to the car and get used to not using worn components. That was a mistake I've made two or three times in this career already. Sticking with slightly more worn components, I could have switched it out for qualifying. I didn't. I got pull, but it hits us in the race and it hurts. Two more laps. Come on. You just see, look. That is literally just our ICE. That is literally not our straight line speed. We're not better in the corners, but yeah, we have one of the better errors. We're running similar setups to the AI. That is, this is all ICE. Been really excited. Lando could get P3 here. This is crucial. P3, P6 will not be bad. It's a good result for the team. It does mean we do close on Ferrari as a team, and we both close on Ferrari. Everyone ahead of us is either behind or two places ahead of us in the constructors, and the two Ferraris are leading the championship. 
player is second. So we're still gonna gain points. Are we gonna gain points on both Ferraris? This is an issue we've had to deal an entire race. Declare. Tires have went off. I'm gonna try something. Ah, and it's not enough. Yeah, the Claire again. So does peace. And that's the end of the race. We'll see you in part Fermi. Went from first to seventh flat race. <sighs> Front wing damage and all. So as they climb out of the car, the Red Bull team are ready and waiting to celebrate a thoroughly deserved win. Natalie Pinkham, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, they managed that. Don't want to look at it. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position. Let's see how the driver's standings have changed. I'm just not happy right Our now. The championship leader is still sat at the top of the standings, but their rivals. I'm not happy right now. Ah! Well, if you did enjoy my first race to McLaren, smash that like button. And yeah, I will see you next time for Italy. See ya.